Hi, I'm Dr. Rasya Dikshit. I'm a dermatologist in private practice, practicing in Bangalore from the last 15 years. Pregnancy and having a baby is one of the most beautiful times that has been described in a lady's life. But something which can really make this a very difficult time is hair loss. Normally, all women post-pregnancy, about three months into their pregnancy, they lose a lot of hair just after the delivery. This is something which is commonly described in medical literature as postpartum acute telogen effluvium. When we say telogen effluvium, it's an acute loss of hair which is happening after an event. Post the lactation or post the pregnancy, the hormones which are there in the pregnancy which is your progesterone suddenly stops and then the normal hormones will get restored. And when this happens, there is a loss of hair which happens and there is a massive loss of hair. You lose about 25 to 30 percent of your hair volume. So though this is a normal phenomenon and with just good nutrition and vitamins, it will come back to normal. Some women experience prolonged hair loss after the delivery. Let us look at what are the causes which can make this condition, which is a normal physiological condition, significantly worse. One thing is that the normal condition itself has a lot of hair fall and this will come back to normal in two to three months. But making these things worse are a vegetarian diet which could be predisposing you to a protein as well as a vitamin deficiency. So if your hair loss is persisting, make sure that you are increasing the amount of protein that you are taking in your diet. This could mean adding almonds, sprouts, dals, millets into your diet adding eggs and chicken and meat as well if you are non-vegetarian. Making sure that your vitamins are in order because during lactation as well, a lot of nutrition is going in the breast milk to the child. So make sure that you are eating enough fruits, vegetables, green leafy vegetables especially in your diet. It is worth your while to get your vitamin D, B12 and iron checked and if there is a deficiency, the doctor will supplement these vitamins in the form of vitamin tablets. Remember that a lot of women tend to try to get back into shape and try to cut down on the nutrition and try to you know follow fat diets in this time because of the unbelievable standards which have been set by some celebrities. This is a normal time, please get back, ease yourself into an exercise regimen. Do not do a calorie deficit or a fat diet which could make the things worse. And lastly, don't forget that pre-existing hormonal conditions like a hypothyroidism, like a polycystic ovaries could be made worse in this period and could make the hair thinning worse. So if you feel that your hair loss which is not reverting with these simple measures that I have mentioned, it is worth your while to meet a dermatologist. They can examine your scalp under a trichoscope and this will reveal if there is any female pattern hair loss which is starting and then they can give you the adequate treatment immediately. Speak to your dermatologist today to understand more about female pattern hair loss, acute telogen effluvium and postpartum hair loss.